just be out with us to the all-inclusive five-star luxury resort Garza Blanca, located in Cancun, Mexico. Let's talk about the arrival process here at Garza Blanca. We just arrived and right from the first step we noticed the difference. When we arrived, you're greeted outside by the bellhop who basically takes your luggage out of the taxi you arrive with, nor the vehicle, and they give you a card to let you know that the card matches your luggage. From there, he hands you over to the concierge, walks you into the hotel, she greets you, asks you if you're here, if you have any special um, occasion that you're celebrating. From there, she walks you over to the check-in area. Once you're finished checking in, Whoever checks you in walks you back over to the concierge who greeted you to begin with. You sit with him or her for a short moment. She goes over some documents as far as where everything is located in the uh, hotel, as far as the pools, the restaurants, the gyms, the spa. Uh, gives you the hours of operation. So just a really brief overview of everything. And she gives you also brochures with itineraries mm -hmm. on what's happening on which day. So this way you can actually build out of what uh, kind of entertainment you are looking for. And also they give you recommendations as far as dining. So they basically tell you up front you would want to make reservations when dining at the specialty restaurants. You could show up, but then you might have to wait. So they do highly recommend that you call and make reservations for the time you want to dine. This way you get seated properly. We actually arrived early and uh, we were starving. So after our orientation, she actually walked us over to the breakfast restaurant, to the reception of the restaurant uh, area. And then from there, they took us over and they brought us to our table. So far, such an amazing experience. Everyone is so friendly. Um, as far as breakfast choices go. We were really impressed by the breakfast variety and the quality. There is something for everyone. And yes, there are even gluten-free options. So far, one hour in, spot on. And we haven't even gone up to the room. After a delicious breakfast, we walked around the property exploring the grounds. If you would like to see what Garza Blanca Resort looks like and all the amenities, watch our Garza Blanca complete walking tour. It did not take long for our room to be ready. Wow, our junior suite is absolutely gorgeous, but it does come with some pros and cons. And we will tell you all about it in our upcoming video, Garza Blanca pros and cons. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification so you do not miss when we publish our next video. For our first night dinner, we headed to Garza's most popular restaurant. To our surprise, the food was disappointing. Okay, starting off with the first appetizer I ordered, which is the crab cakes with uh, some fresh greens and a little bit of sauce. The crab cakes are okay, nothing great. Um, the salad that came with it, the side salad, it actually tastes like, you know, when you're trying to season something with salt and you slip and you pour more salt than you really wanted to. That's what it really tastes like. I couldn't eat it at all. It was just like very, very, very salty for a salad. The next thing I ordered was the um, chicharron and the guacamole. Uh, the chicharron, I was a little disappointed in it because I thought it was it's um, like the pork rind, but also with some of the meat on it. It's not, it's just the dry chicharron, which is a chicharron that you can get in a bag, in a, in a store, anywhere. Like they sell the bags of just dry chicharron. Um, I also ordered the uh, oxtail soup and that as well was just okay. It was a little bit, again, on the salty side. So I'm constantly having to drink to kind of get the salt out of my mouth. I ordered an aged ribeye, um, medium rare, just the way I like it. So the first thing we'll see when it comes, if it is the right temperature. Um, and secondly, if it really tastes good. Not impressed by appetizers at all. My salad was very bland. I did not like uh, the selection of lettuce that they chose it's very spiky it's it's not really pleasant in in the mouth however on the menu it said it was arugula and spinach it did not say anything about lettuce and the sauce it was supposed to be pear sauce but it was just very bland 
almost like pear nectar that you would pour, no salt and a little sweet. For my main course, I ordered salmon, fingers crossed. So the verdict of my steak, the steak was done well. The temperature was exactly the way I wanted it. It had really great taste. The fat content on the steak was really good. It's because sometimes I'll order steak and it, it looks like I didn't hardly even touch the steak because everything that's left on the steak is just all fat. It's a bad cut. Not in this case, it was really good. Uh, as far as the sides go, we ordered the grilled vegetables, we ordered the mushrooms, and we ordered the garlic mash. The garlic mash was, eh, there was really not much flavor, and you didn't really even taste garlic. It was just like mashed potatoes. And it was also a little bit clammy. And the mushrooms, again, no taste, lacking in flavor. My grilled vegetables, however, they were good. They were nice and charred, and that had flavor. So that wasn't bad. I ordered my salmon medium, it came well done. It was lacking in flavor, lacking in salt. The best thing on that dish was the vegetables underneath. For dessert, I ordered apple strudel, and it comes with a scoop of ice cream and some powdered peanuts. Um, the strudel, I didn't, it's not that it was bad. I just didn't like the texture on top because it looked like it could be crispy, but when I cut into it with my spoon, it was very clammy as well and soft at the top, so it was coated in this like soft covering. For dessert, I ordered mascarpone cheesecake. It was a little heavy, clammy, so I did not eat it either. Overall, I would say my experience here one and a half. I tasted the Von steak and I think I enjoyed the most the Von steak and my vegetables underneath the salmon. So overall, the only thing that actually was good was my steak and my grilled vegetables. So out of five stars, my dining experience here uh, for this evening was a two star next day it was raining for most of the day so i started my day at the gym and since there was nothing else to do because most of the activities are outdoors we decided to book a hydrotherapy at the spa what's amazing about the spa is that your hydrotherapy comes with your personal butler this is isaac he will be guiding us through our hydrotherapy and to get there you have to go through this beautiful hallway the walls are nicely lit with golden glow and on the walls you have this beautiful buddha images so what's the first step of starting? Yeah, <laughs> before the hydrotherapy, let me give you a locker. This is this way. Mm -hmm. What's really cool about this hydrotherapy spa experience is that it comes with a butler and he is here to guide you through your hydrotherapy. He brought detox drinks for us. This is a non-alcoholic by the way. As soon as we got into this uh, jacuzzi, there are jets, several jets in different positions. He brought, he brought us this cold towels for our shoulders. So far, really good experience. Mm -hmm. The smell in here is just so good. And you have your own personal space, it's not crowded. So I'm really enjoying it, it's very relaxing. Isaac, our butler, takes the dry sauna to the new level. When we got in, he brought us cold cucumbers, cold towels, put it this on our eyes, cold towel on the face, and he sprayed something smelling so good. And now, let's go for the cold plunge. I've never done a cold plunge before. Cut one right away, please. In the I can feel my whole body tingling. Oh, this is awesome. But wait, there is more. Now we have to go to the steam room. So 
getting ready to do the punch pull. Now, if you guys know me, I don't like the cold, cold weather, nothing cold, especially cold water. So, this punch pull is 14 Celsius. That means cold if you don't understand Fahrenheit percent Celsius. Now, I've been trying to prep myself because I've seen a lot of videos where people get into ice baths and they say all the good health benefits it has. So, I'm gonna try this for the first time. I don't know what it's gonna feel like, but I gotta take the plunge. Pun intended. <laughs> Ready? Oh shit. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, the experience is crazy. The moment you get in the water, you feel your body start to tingle and it's like your skin shrinks. That water is really cold, so now I'm gonna jump in. Irene already beat me to it. I'm getting in the warm side. What the hell is that? So, we're about to get into this pool. Now, in this pool, you notice that there's kind of like a bed here, and Irene's gonna get in, and they have massages and jets under it, so it's supposed to take your back, your shoulders, your neck, I don't know what it's going to feel like. Irina's getting into it. So, I want to explain what this feels like. Because you're probably looking at it and you see it's a, like a gushing amount of water on your back and on your shoulders. It feels really great. But you know that feeling when someone does this to you? That's exactly what that feels like. It feels so good. This was a one-of-a-kind experience. We felt so relaxed, rejuvenated and pampered. Finally, the sun came out and we headed for lunch to the adult-only rooftop deck. Lunch menu on the roof deck is extensive, but we ordered a lot of items. I have shrimp quesadilla here. It's actually really good, comes with guac. Uh, we have spicy tuna roll, uh, California roll, guacamole, and tuna poke. I just had a bite of tuna poke. And after living in Hawaii, we know what good tuna poke is supposed to taste like. And this is very chewy, no go. Another thing we ordered was chicken wings. We had them yesterday. They were nice and crispy and very gentle, spot on. And of course, drinks here on the roof deck is excellent. This is Margarita Maracuya. Cheers! We absolutely love the rooftop deck with the gorgeous infinity pool. So we spent the rest of the day relaxing by the pool and having some more drinks. It was impossible to make reservations for specialty restaurants for dinner. So our butler recommended us to just come by as soon as the restaurant opens. So 5.30 p.m. Well, we got in and we were actually seated really excited and uh we ordered a whole bunch of stuff so you guys to get a full review on what the food is like and the experience while dining here so far our salad appetizer salad came it's seaweed cucumber octopus and shrimp let's dig in salad is excellent the sauce has a little bit of sweetness and look at this seaweed it's actual chunks of seaweed i was expecting a regular stringy seaweed that looked like almost like this but darker but this seaweed takes so much different it is delicious the octopus oh my god i did not think i would like octopus this much okay so we're shooting this segment outside of the restaurant where we just had an amazing meal because after reviewing the footage luckily we realized that there was something wrong with the microphone maybe it wasn't plugged in correctly but we lost all audio so now we're reshooting to let you guys know how much we really 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 enjoyed that restaurant that was the best Japanese cuisine I've ever had I second that notion the food was full of flavor our waiter was it was just overall a five out of five experience honestly mm -hmm. textures flavors 
the depth of flavors and the freshness of seafood like Things butter just melt in your mouth i've never had tuna on a skewer and i haven't had grilled tuna as buttery and smooth as over here that was amazing usually in hawaii when you eat tuna poke it melts in your mouth but it's raw here grilled super buttery smooth incredible and all the flavors yes and we definitely highly recommend if you do come here it's a must that you visit the japanese restaurant and if you're wondering what was on Irina's finger there this is a hummingbird and our waiter actually made this thank you martin yes he brought out two two pieces of plastic a melted lighter? it and a lighter melted it every piece each wing he melted molded the wing and he crafted that right in front of us at the table super awesome thank it's you so weapon. much yeah <laughs> It's really amazing. He took his time and the funny thing is I saw him making a balloon bracelet with a flower and next uh, table for a child and I made a joke. I'm like, oh Martin, I also want the bracelet like that out of balloons. And he said, no, no, I have uh, something better for you. And he was really excited to make it. And then uh, at the end of our dinner when we were having dessert, he came over and he took his time making it and that was the best experience we've ever had. We had an unforgettable time at Garza Blanca Cancun and highly recommend you to experience it as well. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for a full walking tour of this resort and pros and cons video. Gracias for watching and as usual, just be out with us.